Hello everyone, welcome back to Pixel Village and I am Radha Krishnan. Hope everyone is taking necessary precautions to stay away and stay safe from the COVID-19, the virus that is creating havoc across the globe. Now, today we have a sponsor for this video. It's sponsored by Bohobox.in. The t-shirt manufacturers, they make t-shirts for boys and girls and it's available in various different sizes and shapes. All right, and you can even select them by theme and we have very appropriately selected today's theme as Karma. Okay, now today's video is about bags, camera bags. Now when I started out photography a couple of decades back, maybe a little more than that, the most popular bag was the shoulder bag. Okay, they used to be made in canvas, be made in synthetic materials and leather and all that. And they also used to be uh, hard cases, metallic hard cases available in those days. Subsequently, lots of iteration, lots of modifications and addition and deletion. Anyway, you have now many different types of bags purpose built for different usages. So you have a holster bag, you have a, well, you still have the shoulder bag, you have a hip bag, you have a backpack, um, you have hard cases, you have a roller bag, you name it, it's available now. But the most popular type of uh, camera bag that I've seen these days is the backpack because a backpack, it actually stays with your body very comfortably and you will still have, you know, your hands free to do whatever you want, lift weights, drive, ride a bike, whatever and it stays very comfortably well balanced on your back. But unfortunately, buying a camera bag doesn't feature in the priority list. They usually buy it with the leftover money I mean, this is what I have seen by and large being practiced in this country. Like buying a filter for your expensive lens is as important as the lens itself. Uh, you cannot compromise on the quality. A camera bag, camera bag is what is going to take care of your expensive equipment. But like I said, it's often neglected for various reasons. Uh, one of the most important reasons is that good camera bags were barring a few brands they were not really available in the country. Even if it is available, they come through, you know, various trade routes and they become awfully expensive by the time it lands in the country. So the photographers are forced to opt for a cheaper version. And in the process, uh, you know, you are likely to damage your equipments too. A badly designed bag also can cause damage to your body because you know it's not ergonomically designed. I have messed up my left shoulder because I was continuously carrying weight on one shoulder only for many years and now I can't really carry a shoulder bag. Anyway, back to the camera bag. So what we're going to do today is to show you what is a good bag? How should one select a good bag? What are the things that you should look for in a good bag? Well, for which, well, of course, a backpack, okay? Because that's the most popular one. So, well, what do I need? I need a good backpack to begin with. So let me get one. Okay, ready. Yes, a backpack, a nice one. Well, this one got a nice, where is it, uh, a chest strap and also a waist strap. Right. This is a nice, well-balanced uh, backpack. All right, why did I use this or why did I select it? Let me tell you a little bit about this bag. Okay. <clears throat> This is a bag from Vanguard. Vanguard makes some of the finest bags in the world. One of the largest uh, camera accessory manufacturers. They make tripods and camera bags and a few other accessories. And this backpack is made specially for India, which also means that 
this bag is not really available in other parts of the world. India is supposedly the fifth largest camera equipment market for many manufacturers. At least that's what I heard from a few people. In spite of India being such a large market, we still don't have an India specific product at all. So almost everything is available across the world is also available in India. But this particular bag is designed specially for India. So let me start with uh, saying a big thanks to Vanguard for sending us this bag for a review. I thought instead of presenting a bag to you, I thought I'd let me help you to select a good bag because this bag seemingly has all those uh, features very perfectly taken care of. Okay, so without uh, any further ado, let me explain this bag. So what is the most important thing that you look for while buying a camera bag? The first thing that I look for in a camera bag is the design itself. How well has the designer taken care of the photographer, his needs? Uh, how well can the compartments inside be customizable? How much can I carry in this bag? And how light the bag is and how well protected will the equipments be inside and again the most important one is how well it stays in your body because there are lots of bags which are bags they're good but they don't stay well in your body there's a chance that you will mess up your back if the bag is not very well designed and it's not balanced on your body so we'll go to all that features now to begin with Let's see how flexible this bag is. The 49BF is a 23 liter bag. Now 23 liter, it's, it's the volume of the bag, is uh, good enough for most purposes. Now let's open this and uh, let's look at the design. Well, it's exactly like most camera bags. It's got these uh, adjustable um, internal compartments. The added feature that I see here is a pouch. You know, this pouch can be pretty useful. So this I really liked and uh, you know, you can put your cables inside. You, you know, there are lots of knickknacks that can go into this pouch. There is also, you know, adjustable straps here. If you're using a long lens, you can use this to kind of you know, hold them in position because it's pretty useful when you're traveling. This can take two DSLRs inside and a few lenses, few accessories, etc. So it's highly customizable. So that's the first thing that you look for in a bag design. This is customizable. And uh, this side, I see two or rather one clever design, which is, uh, you know, for the CF cards or your memory cards. Well, there is one which is uh, marked red, the other is marked green. You know, you can put all your used cards in here and the fresh cards, the formatted fresh cards which are ready to shoot or ready to be used in the green one. I, I think you need to look at these kind of clever ideas when you select uh, your bag. These compartments are very normal. Uh, you can find them in other bags too, but this is very nice. Another thing that I forgot to mention is the way the zips are designed. Now, this camera bag comes with a five year warranty, which means the zips will be included in five year warranty. And usually, as you must have already noticed, the first casualty in a camera bag is the zip itself. Well, the worst ones are the metallic zips. You know, that goes for a toss in the first few months itself. Now this one is a very, very interesting design. And uh, yeah, these are those weather, uh, you know, the weather resistant design. Okay, so let me close this. And open the top. Now the reason why I'm saying that uh, this is a uh, India specific design is that Vanguard as a bag manufacturer 
used to make different types of bags and they never used to believe in this fully openable bags and Indians in particular uh, love to use bags which are fully openable ones looking at the sheer number of sales of bags you know it was figured that the fully open bags are the most popular ones so now this one was redesigned okay now to the top portion this is where your utility kind of multiplies usually this area is devoted only for uh, for a computer okay but here you have a pen holder you have a couple of other yeah this is you know your visiting cards couple of other accessories and there are two more other uh, you know compartments here which can be used very comfortably this bag weighs about 2.41 kilos to be precise now i have a bag which is a little lighter i mean a lighter but when you buy a really light bag the the biggest uh, casualty is safety uh, safety in the sense safety uh, padding all across kind of goes away so in that particular bag i don't have padding for my computer so anytime i put the computer in i need to be extra careful when i carry it i should be careful not to knock it around one and whenever i keep the bag in the overhead compartment and you know in a in an aircraft and all that i have to make sure especially that nobody keeps anything top of my bag there is also an additional utility you know compartment here oh that's the rain cover um you know you can use this for your things that you need quickly like your air ticket or yeah various things can be put in here so this i really liked and this is not just one there are two compartments on the top okay and once you fill everything inside you can have an additional safety you know lock so in terms of design customizable nature and weight this backpack seems to be in the right zone now there are few other features of this bag which will i'll explain to you uh, a little bit later now on this side there is a pouch now you can use this pouch to uh, store a bottle of water or keep your tripod properly locked in and there is also another additional utility pouch here you decide what you want to put in there now let me load this up with uh, uh, two dslrs few lenses a flash uh, a computer uh, all that and let me try to carry it All right, my bag is ready. It's pretty heavy. Now, if you want to carry your computer, you can also carry the computer in the rear pocket. Now, there's a concept called chore pocket in India. You know, when when you in the olden days when you used to uh, stitch your uh, trousers. you know you 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 tell the tailor to make an inner pocket where you usually you know deposit your cash and it's called a chore pocket roughly translated as the thief pocket well it's basically it means you know you're going to keep something away from a potential you know pickpocketer anyway so there is something like that in this bag you need to really look for that compartment in case you know you want to see it so it's right underneath here and that's a place where i would love to keep my passport let me put that inside and my wallet because these are the two things that uh, you don't want to lose while traveling you know well let me close this and then we are ready to 
carry this. Now, before I do that, uh, let me also tell you that, that there are bags, uh, which of course give you these two shoulder straps, but once it is on your shoulder, the bag strap kind of pulling you back because the straps are holding it, but the weight is kind of not really balanced. Now, these two additional straps uh, will help you to balance that, you know, so to distribute the weight equally. So, well, now this is, let me carry it. Right. Okay. The first thing that I will do is to also, and one pull and this is done and you also have the chest strap in case if you want additional balance right now this is the 23 liter like i said and uh, in case if you need a little smaller one well vanguard has another one which is a 16 liter one it's called the vo select 47 bf a smaller one now like i said uh, uh, these two are designed specially for india and uh, this comes with five year warranty the mrp for vo select 49 bf is uh, rupees 12490 and uh, vo select 47 bf is uh, 11990 well, if you bargain hard, you are likely to get a good 15 to 20% discount from your retailer. So, you know, try and get the best price from your dealer. Uh, so it is perfect in terms of design, flexible interior, uh, you know, very safe uh, computer, mobile device carrying capability. It can carry additional uh, you know tripod water bottle it even has a safety pocket here and well in case if you want to hand carry it you have uh, you know a horizontal grip too so this is again a very interesting you know uh, uh, option that is available in both the bags so what else well i'll say that stay safe these are difficult times well we need to go through it so we need to do everything that we need to do to stay safe <laughs>